Good day. I am Sajani Piyatilaka from the Department of Chemical and Process Engineering, and I will be presenting an overview of our undergraduate research project focused on analysis of carbon microsphere separation through a microfluidic channel. The project was supervised by Dr. Tushara Subasinha and carried out by Senri Risanayaka and myself. The background to this project lies within the need for improvement of supercapacitors, which are becoming increasingly important in adapting to renewable energy sources over fossil fuel. The requirement for better electrochemical energy storage devices has focused the industry towards replacing batteries with supercapacitors. This is backed by the high power density, high efficiency and low cost of supercapacitors. The performance of a supercapacitor is dependent on its electro material. And the most suitable are porous carbon based materials, such as activated carbon, carbon nanotubes and graphene. Currently activated carbon is the most popular electrode material due to its low cost and high surface area but capacitance is limited for this material under high loading currents. As an alternative, carbon microspheres, due to high surface area and optimum mesophorous structure has gained high attention. Mesophorous refers to the diameter of the pores of the carbon microspheres, which is between two to 50 nanometers. The capacitance of carbon microspheres can be improved by introducing surface functional groups containing oxygen, nitrogen, and sulfur, However, uneven surface functional groups lead to uneven ion distribution, hindering the energy density limit of electrodes. Therefore, for high performing supercapacitors, a homogeneous electrode material is required, where a consistent surface functional group is available within a single electrode. However, when considering mass production of carbon microspheres with surface functional groups, a heterogeneous product is inevitable. For example, aqueous self-catalyzed polymerization proce procedure produces microspheres which contain different surface functional groups of nitrogen and oxygen. And ultrasonic spray pyrolysis produces microspheres with four different functional groups, which can be seen on the screen, which include carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and phosphorus. Thus, it's clear there is a necessity for separation of carbon microspheres with similar functional groups to ensure uh, homogeneity of the electrodes. Conventional methods such as centrifugation, microfiltration, and gravity flotation are suitable in situations where there is a difference in size and weight of the carbon microspheres formed. But when the carbon microspheres do not have such a distinction, the separation can be done by considering the surface properties. For this, the effect of chromatography can be used for the separation by employing a silica-coated microchannel. The process can be carried out at low cost continuously, and the separation volume can be increased through parallel operation. Microfluidic separation is where the unique characteristics of microscale flow phenomena is used in order to separate particles based on their characteristics, which are either physical or chemical. But in this situation, where the separation of similar size and weight carbon microspheres are needed, the chemical separation aspect is what is important rather than that of the physical. Similar to liquid chromatography, separation is carried out based on surface properties of the carbon microspheres, as well as the microfluidic channel wall, and also their intermolecular forces, mainly polarity. The theory relies on the effect of one type of carbon microsphere with a certain functional group being more attracted to the microchannel wall coating and thus slowed down in the stream. Carbon microspheres that have surface properties that do not interact as strongly with the wall coating would then flow faster and separate from the mix. And this ensures that a single type of functional group is eluted at a time. The most important factors that affect separation would be, firstly, the coating used within the channel where it is dependent on the carbon microspheres, functional groups, and the mix that it is in. The second is the microfluidic channel structure, where the porous channel walls are necessary for better contact, and the distance between these porous materials of the microchannel wall should also be of a specific size so that it allows for the best flow of microspheres and the carrier fluid. 
And finally, the carrier fluid itself, which carries the microspheres through the channel, should have a viscosity, flow rate, and pH, which optimizes the flow and separation of carbon microspheres within the channel. And it should also have a low affinity to the wall itself, as the process is entirely dependent on the microspheres being attached to the wall and not the carrier itself. Analysis of the surface and functional properties of the different microsphere batches that are separated in the channel can be done by scanning electron microscopy, Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy, and X-ray photoelectron spectroscopy. And if when scanned, they possess similar distinct functional groups, the separation can be deemed to be successful. Another characteristic that is to be analyzed is the specific capacitance of the separated carbon microspheres. It is the defining feature of supercapacitor performance. And by analyzing the different batches having similar functional groups, it is possible to verify that the separation does improve supercapacitor performance compared to if the carbon microspheres were in a mix. Some potential limitations to this method would be the requirement of very specific coatings for specific microsphere functional groups. And depending on method of formation of microspheres, it must be properly analyzed prior to application. Additionally, low separation efficiencies can be an issue if size and polarity are both too similar to each other. But with consideration for certain functional groups having better capacitance in an industrial context, this would be a beneficial method for separation. Thank you.